let's say that I'm modeling an apartment. Uh, let's say, for example, I'm modeling the apartment that we've got here. And so far, I've built the floor and I've built a set of walls as well, as you can see here. There we go. What I don't have is a door or any windows to the outside world. And that's really what I'm going to look at putting in now. The way that I've constructed these walls is simply by taking uh, an editable spline and outlining it and extruding it up. And we'll be looking at that in a different video. But what I want to do now is I want to put the windows in. So what I've done is I've taken these boxes here and I've converted all of them. Once I've made the boxes and I've placed them the way I want them to be, this is very important, but I've converted them to be editable polygons. If you don't convert the boxes to be editable polygons, none of this will work. So you've really got to sort of pay attention to what you're doing here. If you want this process to work, then, you know, just follow the rules. It's quite simple. So I want to, in effect, punch a hole out that's roughly the shape of this box, or the size of that box, through this wall. Okay, so I do that by converting this object into a boolean. Now, to do that, what I'll do is I'll select it, and then I'll go to Create, and from my drop-down, instead of standard primitives, I'm going to choose Compound Objects. Now, we've got quite a few in here. We've got Boolean, which is the original way of doing things, and we've got the Pro Boolean. And I recommend that you use the Pro Boolean tool, which is what I'm going to use. Now, we do have several different options in here. We can union, which is join things together. We can have the difference between the two objects, and we can do a subtraction. Now, for the moment, we are just going to stay with subtraction. Okay? It's set to subtraction by default because it's assumed that that's pretty much what you're going to do when you're building the windows to begin with. So, I'm going to say start picking, and I'm literally just going to go around, and I'm going to start selecting each one of these holes here or each one of the objects and as you can see they are going to punch some fairly convincing holes in these walls so you can see now what I've got is a very holy looking apartment ready and waiting to have the walls put in nice and simple wasn't it well in actual fact we're not quite finished yet because what I really need to do is to click on the start picking to stop picking and then right click on my object there we go there's my graphics card just given out on me and say convert to editable polygon and what that's done now is that's put in these extra lines that you have to have you can't just have a, a hole in a polygon surface you've got to have one of these extra lines so that means that we've also got some dark spaces here where the normals aren't quite working so I shall select polygons by element come all the way down to my polygon smoothing groups and just hit auto smooth and what that's done, it's that's just sorted all of those problems out. And I've now got a really nice looking apartment with all the windows where they should be. So say, for example, this is where the kitchen is. I can see from the kitchen right the way into the where the study area is. I can see all the way down the corridor here. And we would have four very nice windows letting light in. Unfortunately, in the real apartment, there's actually a wall just here. So what you actually get is sort of second-hand light coming down. But, you know, it's still better than nothing. It still lights that part of the portion of the apartment really quite nicely. And what I'm ready to do now is put my windows in and my doors and all my other bits and pieces. So that was just using the default settings in the Pro Boolean. What about if we start wanting to sort of look at sort of various other things like adding in or intersections or whatever. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to create some standard primitives and the classic example here is to take a box so I will create a box just there and I'll take off the auto grid and a sphere and I'm going to make sure that one is intersecting with the other there we go and I'm going to select both of them, as I mentioned before. Let's just turn that around. And I'm going to convert them both. There we go. To be editable polygons. Right, otherwise, as I said, this wouldn't work. So the next thing for me to do is to then make three copies here. 
and the box I will now make into a compound object proboolean. There we go, there's my upper MB. This is what we've just done. Okay, that was subtraction. You can see here default. You notice that I didn't do anything to it, so it came up with the subtraction by default. If I say proboolean and I change that from subtraction to union and I say start picking and I click on the ball there it doesn't look like there's any difference well if I look in my wireframe view you can actually see that there is a difference and if I go to my display and I turn off edges only you can see that there's a huge difference because where as in this example if I grab those two and I take the edges off you can see the sphere inside of the box and you can see all its interior edges per polygon what we can see here is in actual fact there we go you can see the edges and you can see how it's sewn into the shape of the box so in actual fact they are indeed unioned so let's just um, turn on that again right so now I'll take the last box and I'll say pro boolean and in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the intersection, with the, which is the other common one you'll want to do. And I'll say start picking, and I'll pick the sphere. And you can see what we've now got, and this is quite interesting, is if I take that sphere and I put it into my intersection, you can see that is exactly the shape that we cut out. So what that is, is that's what's left, that was what was inside. So it's effectively the mirror of this shape here. And that's an intersection. And those are the three main things that you're going to be doing when you're using Boolean. One other nice thing that I can do with this is I've also got this thing where I can go in and I can say Pro Boolean Operands. So in actual fact, if I come out of that and I select this one, because you'll like this, uh, let's just delete these two a moment and we'll concentrate on this one. Because what we're going to do is we're going to animate the sphere cutting into this cube. So I'll say operands and I'll just click on it there and you can see what we've got is we've got the sphere. If I come down here I can probably select it from this list. There you go. That was the box. This is the sphere. So I can cut in or I can cut out. Now if I just turn on my auto key quickly and I'll set that to linear key, so I go 50 frames. If I now animate that, coming in and going inside the box, and maybe out the other side, there we go. What I'm going to get, if we play this back, there we go, is an animation of the, the sphere cutting into the shape, cutting all the way through, and cutting out the other side bump, and then disappearing off so you've got a lot of flexibility here with these pro booleans in what you do how they work and what you can do with them you won't always want to do an intersection or a union you won't always want to animate them most of the time you're going to be subtracting and you're going to be subtracting cubes out of walls to make a flat that looks like this but once in a while maybe just once in a while you're going to want to do this. You're going to want to animate something a little bit funky. And Pro Boolean is the tool to use. It's absolutely brilliant.